Hey, party people. This is Jeremy for MVM, and today I'm back with another solo stream. I just decided to stream this Saturday, um, and uh, probably because I have, I'm kind of bored. I got nothing to do around the crib, so I figured, why not stream uh, another game? And it is actually the game I played last week, and uh, <laughs> honestly, it's it's such a fun game that, uh, and I want to get good at it. So you're probably gonna watch me get crushed because today I'm gonna be playing Warp's Edge like I did last week for Solo Sunday which was a sponsored stream. Um, this one, I guess you can, can, you know, fall it under the same thing. It's sponsored, but I just decided to play it again because I do like it that much. And um, and I'm not really doing an official preview. So you can take my opinion with a grain of salt, but I like to play this game and uh, hopefully it does really well because I just have a lot of fun trying to win. And uh, it's a tough game. Uh, and some people are, <laughs> uh, some previewers are having a tough time beating it. And I see why, but the choices are awesome. So let me tell you a little bit about this game. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and make sure everybody's in the stream if they want to see it. I'm going to go ahead and share it first. I'll come back. I'll talk about the game, uh, how it plays, and then we'll just get right into it. But let me go ahead and start sharing this stuff. If you feel, feel free to share this. This is kind of an impromptu thing, so I don't expect everybody to be all, you know, uh, uh, to watch the stream like crazy because it's Saturday afternoon. We got things to do. Um, but let me go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to share it a couple spots. I'll be right back, and then we'll get right into it. You know. Now, this game has, like I said, it's going to be a different setup for each thing you see here. So this is a ship. The ship is going to have, and, and by the way, every board you see here is going to be double-sided. So you're going to have different types of ships. These ships, um, they're going to have specific setups. So um, what you're looking at right now is the Artemis ship. On the other side, you have the Achilles ship. Uh, and on this one here, you have the Hermes ship. And then you also have the Titan. So what are you looking at on these ships? Uh, you are looking at the shields. Okay, and the shields actually affect your bag um, as you get hit. If you get hit, they take tokens out of your bag permanently. And then once you get down to that, you get to your hull. Now, the hull actually is your protection in the game. Uh, this is like your life. And if you lose this and you never recover it, you lose the game. But you actually can raise your shields back up. You also have different setups for each pilot. So, I mean, uh, each ship. Now, if you notice, uh, this kind of, uh, you can't really notice it because you're not looking at it too close. But this actually spells out power. And these chips are different abilities in the spelling of power. Plus one like kind of like tricked out ridiculous ability, which is yellow. I get one of those tokens to start out the game. And they're all different for different pilots. I actually have uh, uh, three more different ones on the, on the side over here, plus another set of abilities. There's like 10 abilities in the game. So you have quite a bit of stuff going on there. Then you also have the cargo holds. And this means you can hold chips between rounds and things like that. And then they also have their own ability. So for the one that I'm choosing, which I chose... Artemis, I think. Which one is the one? I chose, uh, yeah, I chose Artemis. This is going to be so risky to choose Artemis. Um, I chose, he doesn't have anything other than his one starting ability, which I'm about to choose here in a second. But let me tell you a little bit about the game. So you're going to choose this nemesis here, uh, and I'll call it a nemesis. And they're all different nemesis as well. I have one here. Let me see. I'm sorry. I have one here. Um, I'm going to place it off against the Hydra, and they're all going to have their own different abilities. Um, and they're all different levels as well. There are some ones that are really complex and very difficult. I'm just not even going to try this one because I'll just probably just get wiped in one turn. <laughs> I'm going to try the next one past the, the first one here, uh, which is Hydra. And they all have their own requirements. And most of them you can or can't attack until you take out these waves of, of, of cards that you set up in the game, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and uh, is that Banana Chip? Hey, happy birthday. Okay, happy birthday to you. I believe today is your birthday. Um, so you have the different, uh, you have different locations on them. Once you take out all three of the locations for them, within the certain amount of rounds, they call them warps in this game. So there's four warps. Okay, so if you defeat them before that, you win the game. But like I said, you can't immediately attack these guys unless uh, these ships until they say so. So this one right here has an ancient power. Its sections have special powers instead of attacks. Now, notice that this one here actually oh, whoa, whoa. Um, it has different attacks on it right there. This one does not. It actually has abilities that take away my abilities, and then it also has one attack here in the middle. So I have to deal with this the entire game because it does um, 
the, the mothership can be attacked and it can attack me. Uh, but other ones like the base one, this first one, this first one that I uh, that I have somewhere. Uh, cannot be attacked until all these guys are go. So this is like a specific one. It says this mother, the mothership has one section that can only be defeated by energy. So I have to defeat it with energy. And we'll talk about that. And then uh, the others ones can be stunned by maneuver. So I got to pay attention to those rules. Okay. Don't let me break them. Okay. It's very important. This one's really going to hurt though. It says repair shields only gives me back one energy instead of two. That stinks. And then level one energies, uh, enemies require uh, more than one laser, one more extra laser. That stinks. That absolutely stinks. All right, so I want to put this down here. <clears throat> Let's explain the enemies. Um, so <clears throat> we just kind of get through the tokens, I guess. There are two types of tokens that you're primarily using to get rid of these cards. These are level one enemies. There's level two and there's level three. They actually come from a stack of cards. So you're actually going to have more than that set of level ones. You're shuffling these. Level twos, you're shuffling these. Level threes, you're shuffling these. And they're on top of each other. The placement of them is according to this deck setup. So um, that's different every game. You just don't know which ones you're going to get. The anatomy of these cards is that they have an attack that you have to use, laser, or maneuvers to dodge them. These are the benefits you get. So for this one, I get to draw three extra tokens from my bag. And then at this one, I get to have a laser added to my bag. And that's what you want. You want more chips in your bag, basically, uh, to use. So that's the, the important part. If I do not attack them, if I do not attack them with lasers or maneuver them, then they, st they, uh, they, don't, they get stunned. And if they don't, they hit me. So I got to watch out for that. And that's basically the runs of these cards. They get more difficult. I got to get through them. Uh, so over here, I have my attacks one, two, and three. I have my, these are energy. Those are like coins. That's how I purchase other stuff. And then I have my new maneuvers. And like I said before, every one of these has its different setup uh, for their abilities. I think I'm done explaining the game. I'm just going to kind of play and talk my way through it. Um, each round, I get one ability to choose. Um, I have two cards I look at, and then I choose one. And these are two of the best ones in the game. Uh, energy bolt, and by the way, they're all really good. Um, this energy bolt it says that uh, the cards count as five lasers against one uh, against one target, but cannot stun. So this is like a big mega beam, and uh, I could use that one. I have to pay a cost. This one right here says I uh, return three tokens to, from your discard uh, discard to your bag. That's very important because it will keep my bag going. We'll show you why that's important as well. I'm gonna go ahead and. <clears throat> I think it's important that I have this blast right out the gate. I think that's important. And then this card goes under. <clears throat> now, if you have any questions, please let me know. You guys are, oh, look at you. You're just as lazy as me on a Saturday. Look at all y'all up in here. All right, here we go. So during a round, I will take my initial 10 plus one of my, my super abilities. And I'll, I'll explain some of these while I go, but this one right here, I get to exchange lasers and upgrade them. So that's important. All right, well, hopefully that comes out ASAP. Okay. So I, I go in this bag. And by the way, this game is designed by Scott Ohms, which gets me pumped up uh, because he's just a great designer. All right. So now every round I get five. Come on, be a good five. I want no money. I want attack. Ooh, and it came out right away. Straight away. Okay. So now this is a this is the issue. It says uh that repairing shields only increases your I have my guys right here. It says repairing shields only increases your shield meter by one. I, I don't want to worry about that, but I do have to worry about this attack. The problem is with this ship is that it presents an issue of I could potentially lose five tokens from my bag, which helps me cull, but then it also gives me an issue with, um, you know, keeping a good bag the whole time. So let's see. Level one enemies require one extra laser, a laser to destroy or one extra maneuver to evade. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what that means is, is I have to pay extra. Like this would be three instead of uh, two, and this would be three instead of two. Oh my goodness. So with that being said, um, let's see, I have this one right here. Uh, this one is called enhanced. Choose an energy or laser. Exchange any number of tokens that type from your pool 
uh, with tokens of the same type, but one extra value higher from the supply. I think I want to use that like right now. Because that would give me two. That would give me twos. Hmm. Do I want to use that right now? I guess so. So we'll use that right now. So I'll burn this and it's out of the game because it's the yellow. The yellows are ones that come out of the game. So I'm going to exchange these two um, for twos. Okay. So then I change those two for twos. Now I'm going to use them. Now the problem is, is that like this is not going to work out well for me as far as um, being able to dodge these. So let me go ahead and do what I want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and this is going to give me another maneuver so what i'll do is is i'll do this so that doesn't hit me for two and then i will do i will hit these two okay i will hit these two all right sorry i'll hit these two and you place it down there and then we evaluate so the first part of your turn is the enemy arrivals they fill in and then the second part is my actions. I should have said that in order. This one right here, I'm actually going to put in my hull so it doesn't get taken away. I'll show you why. Um, so now we get over to the enemy attacks. Uh, when we when the enemies attack, they would attack only if they're not stunned. Okay. So I hit them. I hit them. I hit this section. I, I maneuvered this section. Uh, but I cannot stun. Uh, these guys are not stunned. They're free to hit me. By the way, let me check here. The mothership has one section that can only be defeated by energy. This section can not be stunned by energy but can be stunned by lasers or by lasers and maneuvers okay so this can be stunned by lasers and maneuvers okay good okay so now uh after I, i've planned these i've done these attacks these are stunned these are stunned they're going to attack me and they're going to go right to my shield so i got five five four all right so yeah well, sorry five four so now I'm down two shields, unfortunately. So now I'm down to three. From five to three, that's not good already. Okay, so then when I do that, I'm going to dive right in. So right out the gate, right out the gate, things are getting real interesting. And I'm going to get my, I'm getting my, my butt kicked already. Okay, so this is on there. I, I have to start taking these guys out. So I have money. That's a lot of money right there. I want to buy these and put them in my bag. So I'm going to do this. This is going to destroy this part. So I may want to focus on destroying that part right now. And I also want to get to my bag. I want stuff out of my bag. So maybe I want to destroy this guy, get him in, get, get the tokens in my bag once I start earning more. So let's do this. We're going to buy a couple things. We're going to buy, we have four, four usage here. I'm going to buy one extra maneuver. Actually, I'm going to buy this P token for one, for three, and then buy this one. I'll tell you what this one is. This is like, this P that I bought is like a Contra spray. I put it in between two tokens and it does two damage to both sides here. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Now, when I earn tokens like this, they go inside my bag. So I throw these in my bag right here. Um, <clears throat> and then I, then I know I have those in there. So these are spent, okay? This becomes my discard pile. I actually have an official discard pile, which I'll keep off screen. Now I have these two here. Now, what does that mean for me? If I do maneuvers to this one here, this gives me two maneuvers. It gives me one coin. Uh, I do two maneuvers here. It gives me one coin or energy. Huh. If I stun this, if I stun this right here, it says the mothership can, has one section that can only be defeated by energy. This section can only, okay. But can be stunned by, okay. So this, I'm sorry, this goes to the discard pile. All right. I just want to make sure I got that one right. Um, gosh, do I want to spin this on this or this? Well, they both give me the same result. So why don't I just do this? I will attack 
this guy right here. Unfortunately, it won't won't do what I really wanted to do. So I'm going to take this guy out. He goes to the discard pile because it costs one extra, and then I get one energy right here. So that takes this card out. Notice I only took one card out, my first card out there. And uh, now I'm going to go in here and use this, which are both going to draw three tokens out. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to do two here. That gives me four. That destroys this guy. And because of that, my reward is take three, three tokens out my bag. So let me go ahead and do that. I only have two in here. <clears throat> I only have two in here. But the order is important. So when I place this here, okay, when I place this there, it does two attack. Okay, now since it's split between these two, I can decide what I want to do. These are really basically going to be here for um, purposes of, oh, Lord, I probably should have done that. It's going to hit me. Um, these are only going to be here for purposes of probably going to my cargo hold. So let me do that. Um, let me see. I'm going to split these two. So I have two here and two here. That two is going to take out this one right here. So this two is going to take out that because it equals four. So this goes over here, and then I get the draw for my bag. I have nothing in my bag, unfortunately, but this is going to take this card out. And then I have two here. Well, actually, if I have two here, I might want to just do three on this one right here. So I can add that one. Um, it gives me one extra laser. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. These two go. gives me a one laser. All right. And then I take this card out. Now, there's a problem here, okay? I um, have taken all these guys out, haven't gotten too much in return, um, and I did not stun him. So he's going to take me down one, two. Now I only have one shield. But since he hit me for two, I actually have to cull my, basically cull my cards or chips here. Um, I have to take two damage. So I'm going to take one of these ones out and one of these ones out here, all right? Now I've kind of lessened my opportunity, and this is the key to this game. You really have to pay attention to what's going on in this bag. Now this is what happens when you move to warp two, or any uh, between rounds. The first thing you're gonna do is shuffle the cards that you had back to the top. So I can even get to the bottom of this deck, and then <laughs> I have to go back through it, all right? So I gotta make sure that I take out this guy um, before, before um, that happens. I need to get through these. I also, every round, get two more uh, cards to look at and then choose which ones I'm going to use. So let's see here. I probably know exactly what I'm going to use. This one, Dazzling Flare, is just too good. Evade one enemy, but do not take the reward. I'm going to take this one. I just, I just know. I just know. I just know. Trust me. All right. So this one right here, though, it says you may assign energy tokens to a target as laser tokens this turn. Each of the laser tokens assigned uh, count as the laser token. This, this could be good, though. This could be good, but I get to evade for free. That's important. So let me do that. This is going to go under the deck. It's not shuffled, so unfortunately, you may not see that again. And then we roll. We go back to the four. So we know what our, our initial four are. There's actually only four yellow in the deck here. So you actually should, you start, you should start to plan for that, but you're also going to have a buff deck, uh, a buff set of tiles, I should say. All right, here we go. Back to the five. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so now that I know what I'm up against as far as this, I'm going to go ahead and use this four right again. So I know I have one three in there. I have one of the P's in there. I also should probably focus on taking this out, but I, I might want to use one of these energies to keep uh, my, to make my energy go back up. I need six to completely take that out. I need four to completely take that out. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to use all four to put uh, two energy in there, two of these in there. So that right there um, is spent. Two of those go back in there. Huh. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So now I have the same challenge that I had before. And I don't have much option other than to put lasers on pretty much everything if I can. One, two. This is going to be super difficult, guys. Um, I'm going to go here. 
here like that. Unfortunately, I'm going to take three hits. This is how difficult this game can be. I may have to switch my ship here. Let's see. So I'm going to take... That's all my tokens. This is my discard pile over here. Or, hold on. Maybe I'm just being hopeless. Maybe I'm just being hopeless. Um, let's see. Maybe I'm just being hopeless. Okay. I'm looking at my abilities here. That's why. Um, I'm looking at uh, this energy bolt. So if I spent two, I could take out seven, uh, take out five directly to somebody, but I don't have extra. I can pay one to completely evade a, car uh, a card. I might do that. But I don't get the reward. That's the problem. And that would take up one of my things here the, the the this 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 issue right here that i have kind of takes like the muscle out of my ship huh there's two issues here that i have I take the muscle out of my ship i need something that i, I probably should have chose a different ship but we're going to play it again anyway uh let's see i just don't want to take two damage from him all right so now Okay, so now we're down, we're, we've maneuvered out here. And what that does is it's going to cause me three damage. So that's one, two, three. Now I'm down to this. Oh, wait, I have my two, I have my two damage here. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to put that there. All right, so actually that takes down one more. All right, so we're okay. I mean, we're getting our butt kicked, but we're okay. All right, hopefully I can get through um, this kind of like initial initial blast what i found out is is i'm going blind into this by the way guys so it's it's kind of interesting how uh things are working out because i'm going in blind i like this i like it though and i like it i like this idea i think i may have missed taking something out my bag well i'll i'll, I'll edit that in okay <clears throat> so this gets discarded and all i did was stop him from shooting me twice all right so just so you get an idea of how this works all right uh let's see so this is going to cost me one extra here, and that's what I want. These, Like I said, these things stay on top of them, so like that, um, so you know what you're doing. So I only have to hit him for one. I only have to hit, ooh. Okay, so I think I'm going to do some pretty crazy stuff right now. Let me do this. So I'm going to put this four. I'm going to put this two on there, and it, that overkills. Okay, so that overkills. The reason why I'm doing that is because I get three out of this bag. So this guy goes away. And I'm just hoping. Oh, wait, wait. No, I don't want to do that in that order then. Let's see. I want to get some chips in my bag first. Not many chips that I can get in my bag, honestly. I could do this. So I'm going to split this again. That gives me that damage right there damage right there or I could do that here it really sucks because sometimes the positioning in the cards matter so much so I'm gonna do this let's do that so the four will take this out the two will leave this here and this will take this out four so that's this one and this one okay so now there's four to each it's gonna take both of these cards out now I'm gonna get a maneuver I'm gonna get a maneuver that maneuver is gonna go into my bag All right, so this is out. These are out. Um, this is gone. And this maneuver is going to go into my bag. I'm going to be able to draw three tokens for this. And then I'm going to go in my bag and get now the remaining three tokens I have. That's important. Okay, so now, now that I have that, of course, what am I going to do? I am going to do something pretty reckless and take these out. It's one, two, three four these four right here will take out that section that section is so important right now it's destroying me so now that i've put the four that need to be there um i am going to take out that section so it's like i kind of like did some kind of super move um and there you go so i did some kind of super man maneuver and made it shoot itself like in star wars or something like that so boom that destroys that part so one second okay now I, I kind of have to to prevent 
taking more damage or maybe I do just want to take more damage. Maybe I just do. Maybe I just do. Maybe I'm a lazy lion and I want to take this damage. Um, I don't have really anything to grab out of the bag for this, but this gives me two tokens. That's kind of important. Um, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put the two here, destroy this one, and then I get a one token put in there. Okay. Um, as a reward. So this is out. And now I have uh, this one right here, which I'm just going to put a one on like this. And then that'll be this round. Now, this is tricky because now I, I have to go back to the bag again. Everything comes back. You notice how I'm not getting through this deck. This is specific to this one. It's a little tricky. All right. So these go back up here. This is actually a very interesting puzzle, by the way, to me. All right. What you're doing now all these tokens go back in here although now i have a little bit better of a repertoire inside of here i'm gonna shake that up and now we're in warp three i got two more sections to take out so let's look at the next two cards in the deck all right this is actually an important part this uh in the story <clears throat> something about your red jack excuse me <clears throat> <clears throat> drink some of my wonderful coffee <clears throat> Ooh, this target, uh, this one right here, big bright red jacket. So if I use one of my energy, it says target requires one less laser to destroy this turn. This could be important because now it would be six to take him out and not seven. Choose one token from your pool, remove it from the game, gain one token from the supply. Huh. You know, since it doesn't say what level it is, I think this one's important. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Move this out of the way and make sure you can see everything. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, this one, the other one goes under the deck. We have our four, basically the ones we've been dealing with the whole game. I'm going to show you the other one so you can kind of other ships so you can see how the other ones work. Um, and I'll be flying through the deck. All right, so <clears throat> flying through the tokens, I should say. Okay, let me slide that over like that, maybe, so you can still see. I'm not sure how well you are you are or not seeing. I got my five tokens here. All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right, but now my maneuvers and stuff count for what they are. That section is destroyed. So I think I'm just going to do this right away. Choose one token uh, from your pool and remove it from the game. <clears throat> and then it says gain one token from the supply. So this is what I want to do. Since I know that this is going to be a huge issue and I have my blaster to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this right now and I'm going to uh, buy a three because that's it costs four energy. So what I'm going to do is, is take one token. I'm going to remove this one laser from the game. And then I'm going to grab this three right here and uh, gain it from the supply. And then... Uh, I'm going to add that token to my pool. And what I know is, is that this may come back out if I do it just right. Now, I have four energy right now. I could use it to, to buy another thing here. Huh. I may do that. Because I think I'm doing it right. It, it says inner energy. When it does this, by the way, like that. It goes right there like this. Did I pay? I didn't pay. So here we go. Let me go and make sure I did this correctly. I didn't pay. I don't think I paid my energy. So this is what I had. I pay one energy like this. Goes like that. And then what I do, I have to remove one of my tokens from the game and then get this one. I didn't think I paid for it uh, justly there. Okay. So there we go. Huh. All right, that presents me with a different challenge. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to pay with three right here to get a two energy. That puts this back in my bag. Now I only have uh, to spread these out. So let me go ahead and do this. It's going to be one, two. Actually, I probably want to do this. One, two.
3. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Weird energy on this one. All right. So if I do this, I'm trying to look at what, what I can do here. I'm going to keep that right there. <clears throat> so what's going to happen is, is I'm going to take my actions. So I've taken my actions. This is a one attack here. I actually probably want to put this one here. I'm going to put that one there. It takes it out, gives me a coin. So I think that's important. Let me go ahead and do that. It's going to give me one energy or coin back in my bag which is what I want I want these in my bag um, so this is going to take this one out uh, this one's going to stay but it's stunned this is stunned so I'm going to get attacked for two and unfortunately that's going to take out this token so this token is going to be out my bag and then I'm going to take one two damage all right but I'm a little bit more confident what's in this bag now so I'm not really like too worried anymore because now I don't have to worry about all this extra energy and stuff that I need to have. So let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five. And I spoke too soon. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here it is. Because this might be my biggest turn right here, hopefully. Um, so now I just need to decide how this is going to play out. I have my four right here. I think this is the time to use it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this as, uh, let's see. This four is going to become a three energy just in case I need more energy or no, I think it's going to be a three, a three attack. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use that to get that one there. That cost me three. Oh, that's three. So then I can do four. Yeah. Three energy four right there. Okay. So this separates this right here. This is two and two. Boom. Like that. Um, that takes out both of them. This. I'm going to use this maneuver on them. I'm going to keep this one here. I'm going to apply the two damage right there. When I apply the two damage to both of these, this two is going to give me a one. You see what we're doing here, right? You see the energy coming to here, little synergy going on. I'm going to use this. Ooh, I'm going to use this too. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. All right. So we have our, we have our um, one going back into the bag because I took him out. He's gone. This transfer to this person. It takes him out for two. I'm going to go ahead and hold this, hold on to this right now. Um, this is going to give him two. It makes me draw three out of the bag. So now I got three added to this. Hopefully it's the three that I need. It's not the three that I need. <laughs> All right. Um, but this is going to go over here. Um, this is going to leave me with these two. Ooh, watch me do this. All right. So this takes this, this out here because now I don't have to worry about this anymore. Uh, so this is going to take him out, gives me a one and a one. So one and a one that goes in my bag. All right. So as you can see, using the hold is important. So this goes out and now, now dig this. I'm going to use this right here, uh, this two energy. And this gives me counts as five lasers against one target, but cannot stun. So I'm going to go ahead and use this five right here. That adds to seven, taking this out. So now it can't shoot me with its blasters. All right. So this comes out. And now I still have this, which I'm going to go ahead and just. Uh, what do I have in there? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hold on to this. I'm going to hold on to these. I can hold two um, and I will do that. So one. And now we have our big, our heavyweights here, though. Well, you know what? Before we get to heavyweights, why don't I just do one energy here to save my hide here before I go? All right. Allow me to get my solo mulligan in. All right. <laughs> we got to get that solo mulligan in. All right. <laughs> one solo mulligan per game. All right. One. <laughs> you solo gamers know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. This actually gets uh, tapped in a sense, right? Okay. So that gets tapped. You know, that's out for for this, the rest of this warp. Now we have four mega, and as you can see, it gets so serious, and I need to survive. That's why I, I pay for that one. Let's see, what do I have? See, the thing is, is if I have all attacks, that might just save me right now, and I do. Um, so what I'm gonna do 
is just when this enemy is in play, all tokens cost one extra energy to buy. We don't want this guy out there, um, but we have to deal with that. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use this two right away to gather. And what I'm doing is, is building my bag up so I can just attack this thing for what it needs. It needs six coins, uh, six energy on it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and spend this two to get a one energy. I'm just hoping that my bag is full of energy so that I don't have to worry about the next round. I can just, I have a whole bunch of energy in here. Hopefully it comes out my bag mostly all at once and then I can survive. Although I'm, I'm risking a lot here. Uh, what do these take, get, get to take out? I want to probably take this one out so I can have stuff in my bag. Actually, no, I cannot do what I just did. So that two that I had, it costs one more to buy everything. So I would have need I need three energy, unfortunately. While this enemy is out. Hmm. Huh. All right. That's important, huh? I kind of like this this level two reward for this guy here, so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on that. Although I could, uh, that one's hard. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take this guy out using this one, the Dazzler. Evade one enemy, but do not gain the evade reward. So I'm going to go ahead and, and strategically, strategically take this guy out without having to worry about the reward. Now I can purchase, now I can use this to, to purchase a one laser, which I think I already grabbed already. So now that's what I did was legal. All right, now I have these three lasers and I'm just gonna put a laser on each one of these simply for the fact that I won't get hit. All right, easy choice. I do have five more tokens in my bag. This is a godsend. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I have nothing in my bag left. Now I know that this is the last turn of the round. What can I do that would make this potent the best turn ever in the history of turns um, although i do have another round i just don't want to have to go through these cards again because they're going to be shuffled now all right there's no benefit to taking this guy out other than um getting to draw three more tokens which i don't have yet um let's see one energy i can't really stand to get hit anymore Kind of want this evade more than this. this is a three evade how many evade tokens do i have i have three four evade tokens five evade tokens so i would need three of my five to be dedicated to this i would need three of my five to be dedicated to that then it looks like i need more evade tokens right so i'm going to go ahead and do this so i can prepare for them next time i'm going to spend this four right here to get two more evade tokens or do I do two and two? I'm gonna do two on this one, two on this one to get two. I need I need attacks in my my uh, my bag too, um, that are better than one. Okay, then I'm going to apply. Well, you know what? If I do this right, why don't I do that? If I do this right, I could take him out. Uh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> doozy's coming up here. I have nothing in my bag, right? Wait, did I just put, it should be two and one. Those should go in my bag. I bought them. All right. Okay. So if I take this guy out, that allows me to go back in my bag. I, I have a two and a one in there. So this is what I'll do. I'll attack this guy, make it four, take some out. It says I get to draw three more tokens. You got, you got to make sure you're putting the ones that you buy inside this bag. Otherwise, uh, you, you're, you're kind of, uh, you can screw yourself a little bit here. And I almost did. Uh, let's see. So now that I have these, unfortunately, I can't take them out for what I want to. But for evasion purposes, moving, on, moving forward, I can put, I probably want to take them out. If I take him out, which I need to, I'm gonna take him out. Yeah, because it's not gonna do anything other than, yeah. So I'll take this guy out. That's four, that's five, that, that's overkill. 
and then I get a two. Now I have a whole bunch of tokens in, and really all I got to worry about now is this one. Um, I'm going to just put these evades on there. Actually, I'm going to put one evade on there just so I don't get hit. And then uh, the enemy phase, nothing happens because that guy's stunned. All right, now check this out. This is where this is gets crazy. Okay, so first thing that happens, these come back. Okay, all the chips come back. And put that over there. Check this out. Now all of these get shuffled. I don't know if ones and twos come out first, second, or third. I just know they're coming out. All right. I just know they're coming out. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, those go on top. We are now in the fourth. I get to have two cards, and then I get to choose here. Let's see. Ooh, what's this one here? Perfect plan. Tokens you buy this round go directly into your pool. Ooh, this one. Ignore all mothership attacks and abilities this turn. I don't really care for either one of these, but I think this one is going to probably be the best of the two. All right. Now I got all this stuff in my bag. Pray for patience and awesome uh, pulls here. All right. So pay for awesome pulls. Here we go. Whoa. Here we go. Hopefully there are some stars in the cards here for me. Um, okay. And, you know, I'm not sure if I pay for this when I do this. Do I have to pay it all at once? But I assume not. Um, so let me see. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to do this one at a time to make it five. All right. All right. Ooh, that worked out well, huh? All right. So this could this game could be over super quick. Let's see. So if I kill this guy right here, as soon as I kill him, I get to draw three more tokens from the bag. I'm just going to do that. So this three takes him out. Boom. He has three. As soon as I take him out, I get to draw three more tokens from the bag. That's very important. So let me go ahead and see what happens here. One. Two. Come on. If it's a green, we're good. That's it. Three. That's it. Boom. So I use this three right here. Five. Six right there. It takes out the ship. Boom. Now all I have to do is survive the round here. So, uh, and that's going to be pretty easy to do. I'm going to add this right here that's two this one takes that one out so let's go um it's going to be right here so that two is right here is going to give me a one laser that's going to get added to my bag this one's gone this power transfer is over here so that's two hits plus two is four i get a uh, number two green in there and then i still have two maneuvers and those two will go on there that's stunned i've destroyed the ship and i have actually won so that was, oh, wait, bam. All right, so boom, I have that maneuver right there. Okay, then, and then I take this guy out. I get a three that goes into my bag, and now I have completely not only wiped those guys out, I won, all right? So uh, that's really the game in a nutshell. Um, and as you can see, it's really a personal puzzle in a sense, uh, how you use this bag, how you build the bag. So um, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how this game works. Um, that's Warp's Edge. Um, I'm probably, maybe possibly streaming something else today. Let's, uh, I will see how this all works out, but looks pretty good. Um, I'm really happy you joined me for this session today. Uh, Warp's Edge, fantastic, uh, fantastic game. And I'm not just, you know, I'm not paid to say things that I don't feel here. I just say how I feel about these games, um, honestly, because hopefully when I get them, they don't stink. This one is very good. Um, and it looks like the Solo series is off to a great start as far as I think. Um, although uh, Proving Grounds is super tough and really lucky um, and brutal <laughs> at the same time. I feel like this is the this may be the best. Uh, this is the best moving forward. That means if this game is that good, then I'm excited about the future of this series. Um, and I'm glad it's Renegade. They make some pretty, um, they make different types of games, which I like. They, they publish different types of games, take some risks, and I like that. Um, so with that part of people, I want to thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you had a blast watching me um, and join me for solo Sundays tomorrow because I will be playing another game and it is, see if I have it right here. I do not. It is football highlights 2052. Um, and that's basically it. It's going to be at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, CDT, CST, whatever. 
um, right up against football playoffs, but I'm okay with that. And with that, party people, thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day.